Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Scientist Room. Today we are taking a look at Drambo. Drambo has just had a massive, a massive new update. I'm not kidding. Tons and tons of stuff added, including, including, as we shall go here and look at the shop, DSP Extensions 1. This is a new IAP. Let me get my mouse working. DSP Extensions 1. This contains two new modules. Okay, so we'll take a look at those first. Right, so this is what we'll mainly focus on because the rest of it is kind of... I'll read the list, but it's huge. If we click on our little plus button, I'm going to turn my master volume down just for now. If we click on our little plus button, go to a generator and we scroll down here, past him, you'll see sampler. Um, a bit further up here in the oscillator section, you'll see a uh, wave scanner now. Now, let's open wave scanner. These are new as well, these load buttons. In fact, if we open flexi sampler now, just for fun, it's uh, flexi sampler, you'll see that the load and record buttons are now uh, there on the screen for you right now first of all i am going to add in an adsr just so i can control my volume so there you go basic adsr now i can turn my master back up there's nothing in here but it would make noise if there wasn't um right let's go load now this can i've just put in a few uh loops so you can hear so for instance they've got this one got this one this one, this one, let's load, um, let's load this Transcendence 85, we'll just click on this and hit done, you'll see that that wave is now in it, now what the wave scanner does is, unlike a wave, well, where you can scan, if you've got a wavetable synth, if, if we open one of the wavetable synths in here, you can scan through a wave, wavetable right but this lets you scan through the actual wave file which is and it sounds better than granular right so if i press a key you'll see i'm playing one portion of this wave this wave file and if i use my offset now i can play and of course we can tune up we've got if we've got a reference we can tune it up here semitones and fine so this is very cool right so very nice different modes if we have not just note whenever i play on my midi keyboard it's just going to play one note. Then you have velocity and you have random. Oh, here, just have it off. We can we can just play it normally. This is cool. The peak fills. Let's turn this up a little bit more. Okay, that'll do it. Listen to this now. Uh, we can set our, obviously we can set our voices to poly, but I mean, I think for this example, this is fine. Okay. So that's the wave scanner and you, you can click, I think you can click, uh, no, this is a new thing on the, uh, flexi sampler. You can drag to drag down to remove the sample. We can click in here, you know, you can do a bit of editing or we can go and load in, say, um, another one. It doesn't have to, it can be any file. So you, you see, we've got like, I'm going to move this, I think. Okay, so we can exit that. And now, this is so cool. Let's go to track two a second. I just want to show you uh, another one. I'm just going to go to generator. I'm just going to add in a, a, a rack instrument here. Something, um, so an instrument. We'll add in, say, maybe. Um, 
this analog saw patch here, which is part of part of Drambo. And in fact, what I will do is just give myself a few more, a few more notes to play. If go to the end of this instrument, let's add an effect. Um, there's a new effect as well. So you have the uh, wave scanner, which you've just looked at, and the BBD resonator. So if we go to processor here and we scroll down, so we find our BBD resonator. It is an effect. First one in effect. Click on this. Let's scroll along so we can see it. This is our BBD resonator now. So check it out. resonator effect now <laughs> and if we let's take that out just for a moment let's add in i'll show you now this this is a little bit harder to find but there's a new filter which is very nice so if, let's find our filters shall we there they are filter if we add in our analog filter now there has been a new filter type so so obviously our cutoff is down Low pass 24. But if we go in here and we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see low pass 12 F B D. This is a new one. This is this will kind of kind of cause a self-modulating resonance. So Obviously, you've got to be a, a, a touch careful on what you're doing with your... Okay, let's go to track three. Let's add in a flexi sampler. And although Flexi Sample has been around for absolutely ages and ages, but we'll put one in anyway. So Flexi Sample, you'll see now you've got your new load and record. So, for instance, cool stuff we can do with Flexi Sampler. We can pick any loop. Now, I, I've got even there's more loops here. So you, I'm going to use one of mine and go in. I'll just go into the main sample area where I've got a few just installed what we've got this here now um we could use i use this so i'm going to stick it in it's 50 sci-fi 120 there it is now if i play a i think it's a c2 it'll play at the correct speed and pitch and if i hold the key it will just play through i've got it on trigger see And I want to put on gate. So now it will only stay on. And I can set the start of this anywhere I like. And I can have it come in here like this. 
let's go back to the offset to the start just to show you this i mean all this has been here for ages and ages but i think it says drag down now and i don't know maybe you have to do it with your finger yeah you, you, you drag down will remove the sample let's load it back in um in fact let's chuck this one in done okay so same principle right we can set our loop start here i had a reason for inviting and then we can set our loop end real close to that there so if we click on o we can you know we can see where we're going much closer so so this is loop start let's do this they all need money they all need money okay that'll do let's just go and see what's going on they all need money now let's see if they're brave enough to earn it they all need money now let's see if they're brave they all need money now let's see if they're brave enough to earn it so you can do need money or you can do all sorts of cool now stuff now if we go into this and loop ping pong they all need money now let's see if they're brave enough to earn it we're looping between those two little points now see and because i've got it set on ping pong it's just going to bounce backwards and forwards but the cool thing is because i've got this on trigger if i like say i don't know i'll just set this to say i don't two bars just for now let's stick record on they all need money 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 you can, you, you can have a lot of fun with flexi sampler or you could just get it to play the entire thing through you know if you wanted to just set the length long enough and away it'll go and you've got control because you've got it in gate mode uh when you're using this kind of stuff and of course you can have this um polyphonic as well if you want to but yeah, awesome stuff. So what else is new? There's new stuff for the actual wave um, wave synth as well and some new effects and things like that for the wavetable synth. But yeah, awesome stuff. Guys, just really wanted to give you a click look, a, a click look, a quick look. Let's quickly put in another, let's go generator again. Let's have a look at the new wave scanner again. Let's load something in here. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna go here and then just... Now you'll see, because I haven't got an ADSR on now, it's just gonna play. So we'll stick an ADSR on. And an ADSR. Let's give it a bit of volume. So we're scanning through. I mean, that's brilliant. You know, you can find a whole new range of instruments just by scanning through a loop. And of course we could put on the new um, processor here, which is the BBD Resonator. So let's just, for fun, let's clear that little bit of sequence out. In fact, let's increase it again to four bars. Let's hit record. I'm just, I'm just going to record one note, right? Okay, so we'll stop that. It should have recorded, so... No, didn't get it, so I'll just put it in. Okay, bosh. Okay, you need to save recording it in again because I missed the beginning of the MIDI. 
what we can do now is if I hit record again, I'll let it, I'll let it track background and I'll start messing with the offset. Now I've recorded that motion in. Let's do a bit with this. go nuts you know it's just fab fab stuff the wave scanner is absolutely brilliant i really like that because at first when i loaded i thought wave table scanner doesn't the wave table synth already do that i'll quickly show you hang on so this is what i was thinking i wasn't reading it as just wave i was reading it as i think i was thinking i was thinking wave table so like if we go to uh, our generators here and where's our oscillator? See, wave table oscillator, not wave scanner. Wave scanner is actually wave. Right, we've got this coming on, so we need to put in a uh, ADSR. So this is your, your, your basic wave table synth. You can go in and choose different. I mean, there's loads of them in here. You go down to wavetables or import your own, of course. I mean, you know, we could. And then you could. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, that's weird. What? Because I, I, I can already do that in the wavetable oscillator. But no, it's like for actual loops and stuff, which is fantastic. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. There are, there are lots more things as well that have been sorted. Out. Loads of stuff. <laughs> it's just massive. Absolutely massive. Okay, top job, cool beans. Uh, like I said, if you like the video, please strike the like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please consider becoming a Patreon. And I will see you later. Drambo, huge update. Awesome stuff. Always love it when Drambo gets a massive update. It's epic.